Hi, I'm Randy Reed. It's Today in Lighting.com, Friday, 12 April. We're sponsored by MaxLight, energy efficient products for over 30 years. Here are the stories of making news. Yesterday, I had the distinct honor and privilege to speaking to a group at Sonar Park. They had people in from the South and the Midwest, and they were doing training with regard to lighting. It really is amazing what Sonopar is doing uh, in regard to training their team on our industry. I think they're far ahead than most other electrical distributors, and I was privileged to sit in on a bit of that training. Yesterday, Spencer Bolgard, the CEO and president of Vaxlight, called to let me know that he's announced his resignation. He will stay on through May and help to train his replacement. Details at Edison Report, and we will have more news on his replacement very soon. On Friday, we learned about Dirk Wald retiring as president of WAC Lighting. Yesterday, we were told that Becky Lee will succeed Dirk as president of WAC Lighting, and Tony Wang, of course, remains chairman. We have that story at Edison Report also. Mega Systems, which focuses on stage lighting, has agreed to pay Signify $500,000 for sums owed through 2023 regarding IP. I spoke to them yesterday, and in my humble opinion, it seems like a huge amount for that size of company. You can read the judgment at edisonreport.com. Discover the past and future of lighting control at IAS NYC's TALK webinar on 17 April featuring experts Robert Prouse and our good friend Manny Ferris. Registration is free to learn about the dimming technology evolution. Details at designinglighting.com. My supplier, a woman-owned business, seeks a project manager lighting auditor to oversee lighting retrofit projects. Skills in lighting design, product management, and communication are required. And yesterday, the NASDAQ had a record close of 272 points, and I have no idea why. Signify gained six cents. That's it. Go light up the world. Have a great weekend. Pray for peace.